Well, we've been hearing uh, reports on the news that some interesting times could be coming, storm clouds gathering, and you think, Lord, what are you saying to the body of Christ? And what are you saying to me personally? And I believe that he's instructed us not to fear. I go back to the simple story in the New Testament where the disciples were in the boat, in the sea, in the midst of a storm. And they experienced fear. There, there was concern there. I would say, as we see storm clouds gathering, choppy waters, waves coming that could alarm us or stir those natural feelings of anxiety, that this is a time we allow our faith to grow beyond uh, what we've known thus far. He has promised to never, never leave us or forsake us. That means never. He won't leave us. He won't leave us destitute. And he won't forsake us. I think of the Israelites traveling across the desert on their way to the promised land. Their traveling wasn't perfect. Their behavior wasn't perfect. They grumbled a little bit. They, well, there was some tweaking that could have gone on there. But in the midst of it all, he fed them. He cared for them. Even the shoes on their feet did not wear out. He cares for us in the same way. I hear heaven saying, I've got this. And I think as we allow our trust and our faith to grow, our peace will grow substantially right alongside the faith. Because he sees in our heart a desire to know him in a way that perhaps we've not known him, to trust when we can't fully see what's ahead, but to know. He has it in his hand, and he has us close to his heart, and he will cause all things to work together for good to those who are called according to his name. That's you. Trust him. He's got this. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you.